In part three, uh, we're going to need to download the, the JQ grid from the internet. I'm using I'm going to use version 3.7.2 for this example. Uh, when you get to the download screen, you'll be prompted to select uh, which components you want. I just selected all of them. Uh, and then we're going to copy the contents uh, to the script folder that we have uh, created by default whenever we create our MVC uh, project. And the, the installation of it is just basically unzipping what we download and copying it into, into the script folder. And then we're going to modify the site.master uh, file, which uh, adds reference to our cascading style sheet and to our, our JQ grid uh, JavaScript libraries. So let's install our JQ grid. First, let's go open up the script and let's delete all these in here because we don't need them for this example. And let's go to our JavaScript, our JQ grid, sorry, library. Control A, Control C, and then let's go to our Visual Studio, Projects, Lesson 10, and let's put it into the scripts directory. Copy it. So back in Visual Studio, let's let's build this directory structure real quick. New folder, let's call one CSS. Add new folder. Let's call it JS. And SRC. And within the JS directory, we need to create a new folder there as well. We'll call it I18N. In the CSS directory, let's go add existing and we're in lesson 10 let's go to script css and let's add this cascading style sheet file in the i18n let's go add existing file let's go back up to the js i18 this is where we have our localization you can pick any language you would like we're going to do english and the JS directory will add existing. Let's go up one directory, add both of these files. And now let's go add the references to these libraries in our site master file. So in the head. So first we'll add a, a link to our, our cascading style sheet dot dot slash dot dot slash script CSS where we put it and then our three uh, JavaScript libraries one for the jQuery library and one specifically for the grid and then the one here for the uh, localization in part four we're going to modify the index.aspx file to we're going to add the uh, JavaScript which creates our jq grid uh, and we're going to modify our home controller dot cs file to add the in, in hibernate uh, call and the conversion of the results from the in hibernate into a JSON object so we can send it back to our our JQ grid for display. So let's go and add our JavaScript to our views home index.aspx file. Let's this and we see we created a, a table that's called company list and we're referencing it here in our in our jQuery. Um, it's within script tags. And the URL is referring to a company list and this is actually the method that we are going to create in the home controller uh, in our in our next step. And then, and then our data type is a JSON object. just our comp our column names and our and our model and if we want to implement paging you know if we have a lot of data and we only want to bring back uh, 25 at a time it does support uh, paging very good and then the sort name what we're sorting by and if we're sorting it uh, ascending or, or descending So 
So let's go to our controllers, home controller file. Let's add our in Hibernate libraries. And then let's create our company list method. So this method basically, these are in Hibernate configuration object, the session factory, uh, the assembly that we're going to be uh, instantiating. Uh, and then here is the is the call to using in Hibernate. We're using create criteria. And then we're going to take the results from this in, in Hibernate. We'll, we'll, we'll be getting back this I list of a company class. Uh, and we'll loop through it using link to SQL uh, and make it turn it into an array and then return it as a as a JSON object to the ASP.x file and then our, J our JavaScript will will convert that and show us in the JQ and show us the data in the JQ grid. And let's run it. There you go. And there you have an MVC ASP.NET project using in Hibernate to access the database and JQ grid to display the data. And in conclusion, we created an ASP.NET MVC project. We reused the in Hibernate configuration from lesson nine. We installed and configured the, the uh, JQ grid version 3.7.2, and we modified the ASP.NET view and controller files.